Hello everyone. In this video, we will look into how to use a free Blender tool, Sculpt Bridge, which adds two useful sculpting features that are for creating bridge geometry between two objects and creating open holes. So let's start with this. The first thing is to download the tool. I have added the links in the description below. You can use Gumroad or Blender Market to download it for free. The download will be a blend file. Once downloaded, I will place this blend file in a separate new folder. Now in Blender, open Preferences and go to File Paths. Here, first click the plus button on the side and browse to the folder where you have placed this file. It will be loaded and the path shown below. Save the preferences. It is better to restart Blender. To verify if the tool is loaded properly, open Sculpt Mode and you will see a new icon next to Face Sets menu. Click on it and you should see two menu items, bridge tool and punch hole. Using a cube, I will add a full level subdivision modifier and apply the modifier as well so there are more faces to sculpt on. Shade smooth the object as well. Next, I will duplicate this object and place it on the side. Select both the objects and right click and select join. Switch to sculpt mode. The first step is to select the face set brush. Press F to make the brush size bigger and paint a face set on one object side. Rotate the view and paint a face set on the other object as well. Go to sculpt tool menu and select bridge tool. You can also change some settings from the menu in the corner. Try different values for squeeze, gravity or symmetry to see how it affects the bridge result. The symmetry may produce sometimes unexpected results if the original mesh is not symmetrical. Let's make another bridge geometry in the lower side. Paint one face set on both objects. Keep in mind not to draw or overlap face sets, otherwise the bridge tool will not work correctly. In that case, simply undo or clean the face sets painted while holding control and paint again. Now click the bridge tool. This time our result may look flat or stretch. We can adjust it with changing some settings. Increase the gravity and squeeze value to make the shape more round. Usually the result looks better when both face sets are facing each other. I will repeat the same process on the top to create a bridge. You can also shift click to smooth the face set boundary edges. If you need to clear any face sets visible on the object, then in the face set menu, select face set from visible option. Now let's look at the punch hole feature, which is also part of this tool. Using the face set brush, paint a face on one side. You can shift smooth if needed. Rotate the view and paint another face set on the other side. In the sculpt bridge menu, select punch hole. This will create a hole inside the object passing through the other side. I will now repeat this process again. Only one hole can be created at a time. If we turn on the wireframe, we can see the resulting object is of the same resolution and the topology is not too much distorted. In order to make the parts thicker, which are thin, we can use the inflate brush. I will click and brush over the thin areas to make them have more volume.
We can now use the symmetry option to make both sides same. There are different ways to do this. I will use the sculpt mode. First, select the object and right click, go to set origin. Select origin to geometry, so our pivot point is in the center of the object. In the sculpt mode, open the tools panel and go to symmetry option. See which axis you want to use. Let's use minus y axis to y axis, the green one. Set the axis direction to minus y to y and click symmetrize. You can see both sides are now same. Rotate the view so we can see the object from the side. This time we will use x to minus x axis. Set the direction and click symmetry rise. In case there are seam lines or any bumps created in the middle section of the object, you can turn on mirror property from the top and shift click to smooth both sides or make any sculpting adjustments. And this is how you can use the sculpt bridge tool to create different shapes. Please keep in mind there are always different ways to create sculpt things in Blender and you can use any other method as you like. This completes the tutorial. I hope you find it useful in some way. If you like to see more in the future, then please consider giving this video a like, subscribe and turn on notification bell. Thank you very much for viewing and I will see you in the next video.